Hi, I'm Joel Barsotti. I'm with SpectraCal, and I'm the lead developer for CalMan. DLC is a new feature with CalMan 5.3.5. And it's an innovative new approach for us in creating 3D LUTs. And what it allows us to do is take the data from uh, the beginning parts of the calibration and use it to find the areas of a display that aren't behaving linearly, that need more attention. And so we're able to dynamically add uh, calibration points to the display in order to be able to smooth out all of the little wrinkles and, and inconsistencies with linearity so that we get the optimum calibration at the end in a minimum amount of time. The interesting part about the way this works from sort of a technical standpoint is that we do luminance ramps at the beginning of the calibration and you know once you've done the sort of luminance response for a display and gotten the edge of the chromaticity down um, to where they're supposed to be sort of the theory behind the way color mixing works is that from then on out all of the light should just you know, mix evenly and we should basically be done with the calibration at that point. So we use that to predict where the rest of these points should fall and the new part of DLC is that when we run into areas that are far beyond what we would expect them to be, we flag them as a nonlinear area and so we add in additional points uh, around these, you know, targets that aren't uh, behaving as expected and we continue to iterate on that. So we calculate correction values and apply them and, and then test in the areas around these nonlinear areas to try and find the edge where it goes back to behaving as we would expect. And so that's how we're able to sort of zoom in on resolution and be able to sort of fill out the areas of the display that, that need more attention. So the original method being a profile method, you would have to measure, you know, all of the points in a regular grid in order to be able to get the profile that you would then calculate the 3D LUT off of. And in order to get better results on that, you had to increase the grid size. And when you increase the grid size, uh, it would then increase the time it takes exponentially because of the number of points increasing because you were fixed on the number of points that you had to read. Uh, when we initially introduced the virtual LUT on Calman, it was sort of a revolution to that uh, method of creating a 3D LUT. And we're able to go in and dynamically uh, calculate a correction for each point that we're measuring on the fly. And so that enabled us to do much fewer number of points because we were able to adjust them with finer resolution uh, than you could ever possibly do with a fixed grid. And now we're taking that up a notch with DLC in that you know, so we went from static profiles where you had to increase the resolution manually and you got an exponential increase in time to having the ability to dynamically calibrate the points and the time it takes being able to be optimized by doing a much smaller number of points and being able to make very fine, subtle tweaks to the points to now the dynamic linear, linearity correction where we can then dynamically add more correction points as necessary. So even start with fewer points to get uh, you know both the accuracy up and the efficiency up so that we're able to get better results in shorter time. DLC is really important because it enables you to get the you know most even most accurate response out of your display. Um, prior to DLC, we always saw that while the average um, color error would be very low, we would have a point or two that would have um, color error that would be, you know, just as sort of the threshold of what's being visible. And so you might have to wonder if maybe there is not something that's, you know, just nearby that might be a visible color error. Now with DLC, you see that you know, every area of the color gamut has been pushed well below the visible threshold. And so you can be sure that, you know, none of the areas of color reproduction, none of the tones are going to be anywhere near a visible area and so, or visible error. And so you can be sure that you're using a display that's got, you know, the absolute best color accuracy you can physically get on that display. Uh, we do it in the minimum amount of time required to get that level of accuracy at well. And so there's, there's that efficiency benefit of it so that you can, you know, not take five hours or six hours to do it, that we can do the, a process like this in, you know, as little as an hour and a half and get amazing results. 
I think DLC is going to be a really big thing for uh, people in post-production and people who are doing color critical work because it's going to enable them to uh, calibrate their displays and, you know, get on with doing the work that they actually want to be doing with a minimum amount of fuss. I mean, uh, you know, for people in that industry, you know, calibration is sort of meta work. It's not something that they look forward to doing or that they really want to do. It's something that they need to do so that they can do the job that they want to be doing. And this speeds that up and helps them get to work uh, faster so that they can get on with, you know, what they need to get done today. We're never really done working on our 3D light algorithms. We are, you know, we are approaching the point where, you know, we're starting to get close to the physical limits of the display. But, uh, you know, even now I got thoughts in my mind for what we're going to do for uh, the next revisions to the algorithms, um, ways to make it more efficient and find any other, you know, subtle ways that we can tune it to get, you know, a little bit more accuracy. You know, we've got a good idea where the, the physical limits of the hardware um, are and, and we're rapidly approaching them, but uh, we're not done yet. We've got uh, more good stuff coming in the pipe.